Oh. How did everyone sleep? So good. Yeah. Are you kidding me? So we're like kids in a candy store waiting for this. What about you? I'm so excited. All right, guys. Beginning of day three. Ed and uh, Jack are up here just having a ball. Oh yeah. Always. You gotta have fun when you're miserable. <laughs> Are you always miserable, Jack? Yeah, I think he does. The seams make me miserable. <laughs> I, and Ed always seems to, find, seems to find a way to do a seam. Wait, are we doing a seam here? Yes. Oh. Maybe two. Why a seam? <laughs> Why I'm short. We're short on liner. Short on liner. We should have made that liner. We, we can't even do an overlap? What's up? Always. <laughs> yeah, we always managed to do a seam. Remember the one at Shaq? We oh did a seam the whole one? Yes. In the yeah. rain? In the rain. Yeah, that was great. Underneath the canopy. Yeah. That was a good time. Okay, so we're midway through the morning here on day three. It's 10.30 in the morning. This is Tim from Aquatic Edge. He's doing the he's doing a run on the uh, concrete cloth there. So Tim, tell me what that concrete cloth is for. So this concrete cloth, I'm, cut a, I'm cutting a piece out here so it'll fold, so we can get this fold out. That's dusty. It is dusty. So this is actual dry concrete in here and it's between a, a kind of a rubbery layer here and this is a, a cloth that holds it all together. So once this goes down on the ground, moisture from the soil will cause it to cure and it won't let uh, gophers, chipmunks, that kind of thing, they won't be able to chew through that and get to our liner. Because if we got that, then that's no good. You yeah. don't, want, don't want holes in your liner. So it's basically just insurance to make sure that uh, we uh, don't get any rodents chewing through things in here. But uh, Tim, you guys, you have a YouTube channel for your company, right? Uh, I do, yes, it's called Aquatic Edge. I'll, I'll, I'll link it down in the description and go uh, follow. You actually only live like two hours from, uh, yeah, about Ooh, you're the closest CAC. It's the CAC, I think, <laughs> next to Tessie. Yeah. So, neighbors from Pennsylvania working out here in LA. Don't get any better than that. <laughs> Thanks for the rundown. You got it. Starbucks order coming Starbucks right up. Latte? Latte? Is a Starbucks right. barista on the job site the high, most highly paid? Ellen is the most important person on this job site at this very moment. <laughs> How's that feel, Ellen? You know what? It's good to be needed. Yeah. It's good to be needed. <laughs> or at least the coffee that you bring. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, we're going to go uh, there. While well, they're getting that concrete cloth put in up there, we're going to go find a rock for this area to kind of hold that bank back. So, out to the rock pad we go. All right, John, so I've made this mistake 1,500 times. I don't know about oh, you. Oh, now you pull out your camera. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I said I, I, I took responsibility. <laughs> so John here is fixing my mistake. Johnny's digging out behind the liner. So the bib <laughs> liner is curved in around all these stones back here. And what happens is it fits real nice and tight until you fold the liner back over. And then there's these big bunches of liner. Now you just look at this. Everywhere on big the bunches of liner that we can't get out. That's what you get. Strung tight, you can't get it down. So we're gonna spend a few minutes and do a little digging on the backside and get that to lay nice and flat. And then when we fold the liner over, we're gonna put some gravel on the inside. Make this guy happy right here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is John Adams from uh, Knoxville, right? Yes, T sir. Tennessee. And he has a uh, YouTube channel talking a lot about the construction of the uh, water features that we build. So definitely go over and check them out. Your, what's your channel name again? Modern Design Aquascaping. And you just started a foundation as well, right? Yeah, Sawyer Mason Foundation. So uh, I'll find a link to that video and we'll put it in the description, but definitely go check it out and give him some support over on his channel and his foundation. Appreciate it's a good, it. Good cause he's doing. Yeah, and we, uh, you know, we teach a lot of stuff like what not to do just yeah, like this. Yeah, just like what we're doing here. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you if you're not teaching what not to do, that probably means you don't know how to do it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I could. I'm gonna write a book someday called "A Thousand Things Not to Do yeah, When You Build Your Water Feature." There you go. It's coming. So anyway, it's been fun uh, working with these guys again. The last time we were all together on a project was down in Georgia at Shaq O'Neill's project. So it's a uh, half the reason I come out to these builds is to collaborate and have fun with our our pond friends, pond family.
Hey, what's up? It is early afternoon here in Los Angeles and even the president of Aquascape herself. I'm just gonna take a minute and uh, draw attention to the- uh, <laughs> To me falling in? <laughs> yeah, just to the, I mean, the, the female power going on in here. Just look at those plants just being tenderly and lovingly placed. They're going in. <laughs> we just built the last waterfall up there at the top and uh, kind of finishing up some edges up there, kind of changing the grades and getting the grade where we needed to be. And Greg went out and got a whole bunch of plants. We're planting it all in, which is really the best part because the rock work by itself looks really harsh. And uh, once you start putting in all the plants and stuff, it just softens things up, really makes it look good, come together, kind of hide the uh, harsh edges of all the rock work. What do you say, Ben? Some serious grade change. <laughs> yeah. That is stinking steep. Are you enjoying working with these uh, plants? Yes, I just, they're so fortunate. If we have 15 plants to pick from, out here they have 3,000. <laughs> <laughs> That's about the ratio that it I is. I don't even know the names. I don't either. Like, there's stuff I can't plant at home because they would freeze. I saw but coral bells. That's... I yeah. recognize those. Is that fern, the way that's kind of tucked into there, that, yeah. that's what this rock work needs bad. Yeah, it does. Hi, Greg. Hey, you look us back on the channel. You are very dusty here. We'll fix it here. Thanks, thanks. So now that your old boss lost you to doing software, he wanted to know if you were getting your hands dirty. <laughs> Let's check a little bit of foam on there. You, you gotta miss us, brother. You <laughs> yeah, gotta miss us. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Keep this alive. Ooh, good hit. Thank you. That was like battleship. Right, man. You want me to sink one out? Yeah, do there? another one. Do another one. Let me take a little bit more. Oh, nice. He didn't do it though. No, he didn't. He's pretty callous. Well, he knows. I've been throwing him at him all day, uh -huh. so he's quite looking. <laughs> he pretends he doesn't do anything, but he knows. You know what this weather feels like? Awesome. Se September. Yeah. At home. There's a cool breeze blowing. Yeah. yeah. So I've been rubbing on Brian all day, asking him what the plan is. Brian, what's the plan? Uh, you know, I'll let you know in a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You've been messing with extension cords over here all day. No. Yes. No. Yes. Just about the last three minutes earlier, I'm I was. You, I showed up here at nine o'clock, and you were messing with extension cords. Uh, that was a different extension cord. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite part. What planting? Yeah, I love it. Look at how it just brings it all together. What's well, so harsh looking? Yeah. Right. Add up there. Place it in one nice holder. One, that's a, I think it's our last big rock to kind of keep that bank retained. Ooh, I felt Ben goofing off. Look at him. He's messing around on his phone over here in the corner. He thinks nobody sees him. Yeah. Yeah. What's this? Oh, I was just spying on you goofing off on your phone. He thinks, you think nobody sees you over no, here. No, I was trying to look at the video that our editor sent. Oh, you were uh, actually working? What not? Well, no. See, that's the tricky wanna... thing with phones. Yeah. Are you going to fall, Lisa? Because if you are, I'm filming. No. <laughs> Wow, Greg, is it this rare that you're holding a shovel? I mean, there's cameras at you. I hear something chirping. I just can't, I can't clearly understand it. <laughs> like right in that area, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Hide some of that stone work. I know, we put all that stone in there, then we yeah. need to hide it. You know, and that's actually part of the planting, like I always tell our customers, as much time and effort as we spend on carving every boulder in the, in the place, mm -hmm. we ultimately try to hide them all with plants. And so when it looks, to me, the most natural is when the boulders are just peeking out amongst all the exactly. plants. Exactly. Let's come up here and see the Tussie guys in action. This is where the real skill is, right? Yeah, just standing around with my hands in my pocket. <laughs> You having fun, Deej? Yeah. Uh, What's been your best part so far? Just being here. The vegan lunch? Yeah, that, that was good. Are you eating razor oh, blades? Razor blades. They're so good. Um, that's, a, that's a rarity around here. I think some, someone has my knife. Who does? I did. Aha! Uh -huh. So let me show you something cool. Plus, you know that age-old question what to do with the old knife blade? Yeah. Blood. Bl blade. Wait, you can actually press that button, it'll come out. Oh, no. Yeah, Take it does come out. Right here. And then, oh, it. super cool. Back in action. 